Are you guys ready for this? 700k. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for the Valentine's gift. I appreciate it. Let's get it, guys. Hey, Dag, loved. Or, hey, Tag. I don't know why I say Dag. But, hey, Tag, loved your video today. Push with Logbait. I was thinking because of the nerfs, but your videos helped me a lot. Thank you. Glad to hear it, bro. Daddy, do it. We got this, guys. Believe in me. We're dropping the guards off to the side because it accumulates one more hit from those guards. He's going to be dropping the Royal Ghost. Oh, not a great start for us. I don't like seeing this. Ooh, he's got the pencil. We'll be logging everything back. We're going to be dropping our Mega Minion as well. So Mega Minion will end up killing the Royal Ghost, hopefully. Please? All right, we're chilling. Could go in for a Graveyard Ice Golem, but we don't have enough Elixir. So the Mega Minion is just going to die. Unfortunate. We could have dropped an Ice Golem in front of that and then went in for a Graveyard, but it, it would have been a just, uh, I don't know. I, I don't really like playing too aggressive early on, especially against a Bridge Spammer like this guy. Because you guys already know he's going to go drop a million units at the Bridge right now. Yep, there's the P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge, new meta. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are were prepared for that, but I definitely was. I'm going to be dropping an Ice Golem as well to make sure the Mega Minion... Oh, no, Mega Minion did finesse me a little bit. As long as he doesn't break through. I mean, that was a very adventurous P.E.K.K.A., guys. Have you ever seen a P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge? I don't, I don't know if I've seen it in competitive play, but I've seen it at 12-1 GC. 11-1, and, and this man just decides to drop a P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge, because that's just... The best play, the most optimal maneuver. <laughs> Alright, so what we want to do is we want to stack up Spear Goblins as much as possible. As, so as long as we bait out a Poison, there's nothing you can really do. And we know that for a fact he's going to go in for Battle Ram right after the Royal Ghost like he did last time. Unfortunately, I don't think that we're... Okay, that's interesting. There we go. Alright, so we're just going to go in for a Poison, Log. The Log was kind of unnecessary, actually. Log was pretty bad. I should just drop guards, and I would have been completely fine in that situation. But there's the poison that I was talking about. Whenever you bait out the poison, you can pretty much just go in for graveyard and take the dub. I don't know if, what he has. I mean, I assume he has flying machine, but that's going to get poisoned. He's just going to drop units that get poisoned. That's pretty awesome. I should have poisoned the flying machine, but uh, I didn't really know that he was going to drop it there. He already dropped so many units. didn't make sense for him to drop anything else right but look at his haphazard counter push he just kind of stockpiled units like that didn't really matter didn't do anything so this deck obliterates people in gc's because they just bridge spam all the time and they indiscriminately poison spear goblin huts i'm gonna be dropping an ice golem yet again could poison that but i don't really want to i'd rather just use my mega minion and he's just gonna give me guards value four for three trade or three for five three for four trade guys simple math I'm not able to do simple math, though. <laughs> so we're just going to get the skeletons accumulated around the tower. Little Larrys are just going to devour the tower. And there's absolutely nothing this man can do. If he goes and drops anything with this bridge man, it's going to get poisoned. Otherwise, we can just get away with an ice golem. And that should be GG, boys. We're going to go in for the, uh, the guards. And then we're going to go in for a graveyard. And there's absolutely nothing he can do in this situation. As long as we get a few skeleton hits, then it's going to spell doom for him. And that's good game. Poison plus log does 300, and he has to break through his Spear Goblin Hut before Poison and log just take his tower, so that's not happening. GG, man. Let's get some hype in the chat. 12 and 1. I don't think this is, uh, I really don't think this is 600k yet, or 700k, but we're close. We're really close to 700k, but it's not 700k yet. What are we going to get in this chest right here, right now? You guys ready? Are your bodies prepared for this? If you don't get 700k Edmund Shen deck, I will disown you. <laughs> oh, man. Battle Rams. Elite Barbarians. Get in the Mortars. The Bats. All right, guys. We need to get some epics that we actually want. We need, we need a good omen. We need to get some hype in the chat, too. Get some Assert Dominance emotes if you guys have them. Get some fireballs, the goblin gang, gang, the furnace. All right, so that was a really crappy chest. I'm not going to lie. That was, <laughs> that was not a good chest. Not a single card that we could actually use. So that's going to go straight towards uh, that 1 million gold bank that we have for no reason. And guys, 
We are so close. Oh my god. We got nothing good. And then so close to 700k. Trolled to the maximum level, but we're used to it by now. We're kind of a meme. Could we lose a GC and still get it? Yeah, we could lose a GC. So guys, with this GC, we will get... <laughs> We are going to hit 700k. Whether you guys like it or not, we are hitting 700k challenge cards with this GC. If I go 0-3, I get 700k cards, so. Good game, well played. So I think that I cycled a little bit too much in the uh, right. I should have dropped the Electro further back instead of like right on top. I think that probably would have been a better play. That's my dream, man. It's always been a dream of mine to get an 0-3 and a GC. Guys, we're tryharding the 0-3. <laughs> it's a meme. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can't believe this just happened. <laughs> the dreams are alive. They're always alive, bro. They're always alive. The Goblin Hut's coming out. What is this guy rocking? Oh, he's gonna fireball. Alright. Well, that means you don't have poison, so that's really good for me. Drop the Mega Minion in the back, and we want to see what he's rocking. He's probably going to be running Lava Loon, if I had to guess. If I had to endeavor to guess. Alright, no. He's going to have Archers. Interesting. Could go in for a Graveyard, but I don't really want to. I want to just go in for a Poison. Play more passively, because we lost so many games already. Rather, just try to get the Mega Minion on top of the tower, instead of overcommitting. In Double Elixir, you can go in for Graveyards a lot easier, but not in that situation. So he's got the Santa Claus. Tombstone Archers. So those are going to be his two counters. We're going to drop the Goblin Hunt pretty far back. <laughs> see you later, Jake. Yo, see you later, man. Why do you stream early on Monday? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I streamed early on Monday, my man. Dropping the Mega Minion right on top. Going to be dropping our guards and then the Electro Wizard to evaporate all of those bats. So there's no way Santa Claus is getting any damage. Spear Goblins, however, are going to accrue some damage in the right-hand lane. Ooh, the Stevens, guys. Look at the damage. Whew. That's hot. Do you believe the Furnace should get a buff? Ah, uh, dude, I don't want to see any more Spawners getting buffs. Spawners getting buffs is just a sad time in the life of Jake. Sad time in the life of anyone that just, like, doesn't play Spawner decks. Spawner decks are the bane of my existence. He's going to fireball the Ice Golem, the Ice Yeti, and the Goblin Hut. Pretty good positive elixir trade for him, but it still doesn't matter because he doesn't have uh, any graveyard counters besides archers. Archers get poisoned, and then he loses the game pretty much. He did stagger, though. Notice how he staggered the archers in the flying machine? One of the archers is still going to get clipped, and the flying machine will die in the poison, so that's awesome. And then Santa Claus is just... <laughs> he's just going right into a brick wall. Went straight into all the Spear Goblins. We're going to drop our Mega Minion right on top. You got a very nice Ice uh, ice Spirit there, but it's not going to matter too much, I believe. As long oh, wow, that actually got on top of my tower. All right, I take back that statement, guys. That did look matter a little bit. Notice I'm always playing passively until I get an Elixir Advantage, then I capitalize and go in for a Graveyard. Never doing it when I'm down or when he's up maybe two or three Elixir. Just letting him drop his Santa Claus and then going to defend. We know that he has Fireball, so we can actually just... Yeah, we're just going to poison on defense here. He got a very nice Fireball, but it's not going to matter, guys. Bats will pop inside the poison as well. So this should be a good game. We're going to go in for a poison on offense. And that should be all she wrote. There's no way that he should be able to defend this without a poison. He's going to go in for Flying Machine, actually. So maybe he is, but he's overcommitting on defense. That means he's not able to actually make a decent offensive maneuver. We're going to go drop our Mega Minion. Snipe the Flying Machine. I don't understand why people still run Fireball in Grand Challenges. It just seems like a horrible play. He's going to say good game because he knows it's over. You guys, we're 2-2. Two and two. We bounce back. We bounce back. <laughs> Is this one of the best graveyard decks right now? Yeah, it's one of the best decks in the game, actually. Not just one of the best graveyard decks. Probably the best deck for grand challenges. And competitive play, at least from my uh, standpoint. Or like 11-3. I, I was... I just saw that, and I was like... 
definitely going to be wishing me ill will, but thank you. I appreciate that. Stephen the Goblin is going to be tagged uh, Valentine. You already know. Wyatt the Winner. He spelled winner incorrectly. Well, he's running Lava Loon. I, I don't like this guy already. <laughs> we got to win. We don't have Spear Goblin Hut in cycle, so that's kind of bad. We're going to drop guards because he's probably going to drop something right on top of the Mega Minion. I really... Okay. Wh oh my god. Did we get sniped? Or is this real life? I, I don't know, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Please, someone save me. I, I'm going insane. We're going to be dropping another Mega Minion to defend the virginity. We got to defend the virginity from the balloon. It's Valentine's Day. No balloon today. No party. All right. Electro Wizard will get a hit off on the tower, but he's got Valkyrie Balloon. I I can't. I can't deal with this right now, guys. <laughs> he sniped me again? Yeah, I feel like this guy sniped me. It's okay, though. We'll get it, guys. We'll win. Believe in me. Good defense, boy. All right, thanks. We didn't have Spear Goblin Hunt, so we had to improvise. Oh, man. Oh, man. We know that he's got Fireball. Jeez. We gotta cycle back hot. We gotta go get there pronto. Unfortunately, that's not gonna pop. Oh, it does pop in the poison. We're chilling there. Great. We're not dropping the Mega Minion. That would be pretty bad for us. He did? Hmm. Okay. Well, I was going to go in for a graveyard, but then I wouldn't have had anything for the balloon. I guess he knew that. Yo, the guard's giving me so much value. Mega Minion going to swipe down the balloon. Whew. Uh, guys, we might beat this hard counter. We might beat it. I believe. You guys believe? Going in for the ridiculously high Spear Goblin Heart. And then we're going to drop an Electro Wizard to make sure we win that battle. Uh, not good. At least the Steven will finish him off, right? We gotta save the Mega Minion. Wow, he already used the Valkyrie? Interesting. We're gonna drop the Mega Minion behind it. And we wanna see what he wants to do. <laughs> well, I feel like a balloon is impending soon, guys. I really feel it. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. We have to drop our poison. Crazy. He's not even dropping balloon anymore. This guy's whack. Yo, Stevens are accumulating. This is the life that we want. Okay, so can we go in for a graveyard or is that too risky? I think that might be a little bit too promiscuous on this Valentine's Day. Maybe dropping our Electro. We want to win this battle against the uh, Inferno Drag. Wow, he completely botched it, guys. He missed the Electro Wizard. Let's get it. We're going in for the Poison to assert some dominance to get a little bit more chip damage. He's got a Valkyrie, but does the Valkyrie even matter? All right, we're gonna turn off emotes because we, or we're gonna turn on emotes because we know that this guy BMs us all the time when he snipes us. I remember his name. Maybe dropping our Ice Golem. We're going to go in for a graveyard before he's able to get back to anything substantial. Ice Golem is tanking. This will be a good game. The skeletons are completely going around the tower. Completely en enveloping the... Ca uh, I don't even know what I was going to say. Good game, though. Thumbs up and good luck. Engulfing the tower. What is the word? <laughs> Envelope. Enveloping the tower is what I said because I'm a meme. You better be him. I forgot. I forgot. Here you go, guys. Here's here's the uh, here's the crying faces BM because we forgot to say uh, the correct word. <laughs> oh man! Can we get some sir tag envelopes in the chat? You guys just type in some envelope right now. I don't know why I said that, but envelope is probably gonna be a meme now. I'm sure he waited for that BM. I hope he waited for that BM. Most ladder players do BM, so anyone that plays ladder usually BMs. Ladder's really frustrating, though, so that's probably why. Alright, Goblin Hut in the middle. Immortal. Alright, so this is going to be really annoying to play against a Dark Prince. 
I can't go and drop guards because of poison value. If I drop Electro, it's poison value. If I drop Ice Golem, well, it's decent in that situation. I don't want to drop a higher Electro. It's not going to poison that, right? Is he going to drop something at the bridge? Oh, he's actually going to poison that. All right. I think that's a bad play. Electro walks out and then you kind of lose the game, right? He had to zap it. It's a lot of value for us. So many skeleton hits. Oh my god. And he actually had to go in for arrows. So that tells me that he's probably running a really weird deck. He's probably running... Yeah, so I was going to say Giant or Golem. But there's the Giant. Mega Minion on Mega Minion action here, boys. He's got Zap and Arrows. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why people still run that. So we could go in for Electro or we could go in for Guards. I kind of want to go in for Guards. Less Elixir. And then I have my Electro for the Dark Prince, whereas Guards against Dark Prince, you know? Not usually the best play. I I'm not I'm not feeling down with the Dark Prince and the Guards. I feel like Dark Prince does really well against Swarm Units. Ladder makes me lose my, <laughs> my bald head. Oh man, losing all your hairs from Ladder. RIP. Mega Minion not going to get a swipe off on the Spear Goblin Hut. Fortunately for us. So we're hitting double elixir pretty soon. That's going to be awesome. So if he stacks up units, I'm going to poison without any cares in the world. Does he have poison? We haven't seen it out of him yet. He does. Oh yeah, we saw poison earlier. What am I talking about? The Giblin Hut. Oh, that ice gum was questionable. A very questionable life choice out of me. Steve and the Spear Goblins are accumulating now. Ooh, he's gonna arrow them. I'm just gonna go for Electro right on top of the Inferno. Usually a pretty decent play. I'm gonna go in for the Log. He's gonna love the Log whether he likes it or not. Oh, he's got the Double Prince. I wasn't expecting that at all. Mega Minion on Mega Minion action. Coupled with our Electro Wizard. Actually, not coupled with our Electro anymore. Baby Rage never lucky. We gotta go in for a graveyard because we wanna bait out a poison from him. Is he just gonna eat that damage? Okay, he's gonna poison. That's what we wanted to see. Because now the Spear Goblin Hunt gets so much so much value. Can we actually do this? I think, yeah, he's definitely down so much it doesn't matter. Oh, the Electro Rain in the pain! Tickling his Tesla. Definitely electrocuted him. Yeah, so he's going to go in, but, you know, he's going to get cordially greeted with another Goblin Hut. Oh, that was the worst poison of 2018. You know, when I said I did the worst poison, I... No, nah, this was this was terrible. I don't understand that one, man. He's also having to go to get, use spells to defend their virginity, but that never works out. Good game. He's not an immortal. We crushed an immortal, guys. He's, uh, he's not living anymore. Steven is my Valentine. Glad to hear it. Electro Wizard gonna be big because Double Prince. Yeah, Electro Wizard's strong. Mega Minion on Mega Minion action. <laughs> yeah, man. Scarface. So we kind of want to wait and chill and see what he wants to do. I don't even want to drop the Goblin Hunt. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it anyway. There's just so many things that could happen, guys. And I want to win this badly. We, we, we got to win four games in a row for the meme. Going down 0-2 and, and then just winning everything. Because that's the life that I'm about. I'm, I'm all about the memes. If you guys haven't figured that out already. Spear Goblin going to stay alive? Yeah. All right. Decent play. Decent play. Still kind of mediocre, but <laughs> we're going to run it off as decent. Oh, that's going to get a charge. That's really bad. That is no bueno. No, it didn't. All right, guys, I'm stupid. Never pay attention to anything I say because it's obviously just going to be blatantly wrong. You guys ever trust me again? I don't think so. I don't know interactions for the life of me. All right. Can you do some ladder after Grand Challenge? Maybe. 
All right, Goblin Hut coming out. What is he gonna be rocking? <laughs> Yo, shit, you on? Thank you, bro. All right, we're gonna be dropping Mega Minion on top of the. Wow, so he went in for a poison. Pretty bad poison. It did encapsulate the Mega Minion, but I don't think it was too great for him. Mega Minion was gonna be tanking for quite a while. Could have poisoned that, but hmm, maybe I should have poisoned Lard. Probably would have been the play. Might have been the move. I think I overcommitted. I think I should have let the Electro die. Definitely should have let the Electro die there, guys. I overcommitted on defense. Not a good play. Yep, I might lose now. Oh my god. This is going to be very hard to defend this. Drop the Mega Minion. Goblin Hut. I don't like this. Electra is going to completely finesse the minions, though, and Electra is going to stay alive. So, whew, we barely got out of that one alive, guys. Barely. <laughs> Skin of our teeth there. Quite frankly, one of the worst plays I've done. Mega Minion should end up killing the Batarim. No penetration for him. So, we're playing it so safe, guys. We're not losing this game. I told you, we're not losing anymore. Not about it. So if you went in for a poison, we're going to go for a graveyard, and we could poison the minions that are coming out. It might be an overcommittal, but we're going to do it. We're going to have to DPS down that uh, Pekka as soon as possible. Otherwise, he's going to get some really nice value out of it. You realize that the Dark Prince was a pretty big mistake at the start. So that's good for us. Alright, so you want to go bridge spam me some more? That's how we want to win this game. That is our, that is our way. You're showing me the way, bro. Yep, yeah, there we go. Keep poisoning. Music to my ears. Oh, the minions didn't die. Hmm. I should drop the left or right on top. Still, the Stevens are alive and thriving. Gonna make sure he drops more and more units. He's just continuously bridge spamming, and we're playing so safe, guys. I'm sorry that we're playing so safe, but you guys already know I'm not losing. He's gotta go in for a poison, or he's gotta go in for units that are poisonable. So he's just gonna go in for a poison, eat up some more damage. We go in for a poison on Electro. He does a plus one trade, but he eats up a ton of damage there. And he doesn't have poison and cycle for this. So that's even better for us. I don't know how he's going to break through this. The Dark Prince is going to die. The P.E.K.K.A. is coming through. But we're just going to go for Electro right on top of those minions. And guys, double Electro Wizard action. Defending the virginity. We're going to be going in for a graveyard. And that's going to be all she wrote, boys. There is no way in heck that he defends this in time. So the Skeletons, all we needed was that. The Little Larrys will finish him off. And that's good game. Let's get some hype in the chat. We just gave Scarface another scar. Whew. For an opponent. I don't want to get it stream sniped, so I'm going to cancel and redo it. Much love from Germany. Danke. Hey, Tag, did it hurt? Oh, my God. All right, we're going to be dropping the Goblin Hut. Ooh, Santa Claus. All right, all right. Usually you want to be dropping your Goblin Hut a little bit lower if you know that they got the Santa Claus, but we have to deal with this. We have to make shift of what we have. Mega Minion? Alright. <laughs> well, you're not getting any poison value today, I'm sorry to say. We're going to get some poison value on the Muskie though. Unfortunately, the Electra will just die, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a wash. Get a little bit more damage, but I think I'm down on Elixir because I went in for the poison. I can't tell. Even trade with the Gob Hut. I went in for a poison. Did he poison? Yes, he did. No, so he's going to be up two Elixir. I should drop the Gob Hut one more tile lower. I need to start doing that. It actually is a pretty big uh, 
pretty big difference in these type of games. Alright. We're gonna go for Electro. We kind of have to. Whew. That was pretty scary, guys. That was really scary. He found the virginity, though. Close. Mega Minion decided to not go for his Mega Minion and went for the Giant, so I didn't like that. Yo, he went for Ice Spirit and keep me an Electro in it, so we're back in the we're back in business. We're down even more Elixir though. Jeez. That's the Goblin Hut placement. That will still draw a giant. That's the most optimal Goblin Hut placement if he drops a giant. Electro is going to stop Santa Claus in his tracks. No more presents. No more deliveries. Please, get out of here. Seriously. Oh, my God. What? No, this is not good. This is not bueno. I don't like this. I really think this is abhorrent to see a, a giant P.E.K.K.A. deck. I, I don't know, guys. What are we going to do? I, I don't like this. Disgusting. Please get this out of my face. Oh, jeez. I don't know how we're going to win this. Oh, okay, so he's going to go drop a Musketeer inside the Poison again. So we're back in business. So we're playing very, very patiently. That's what I guess we have to do. Do we have to log this? No, we don't. That's gonna die, right? Yeah, cool. Went for a poison? I think this is where we get him. I think this is where we catch him with his pants down, guys. Potentially. Ooh, we're getting the damage back. We're back in business. Our dream is no longer a meme. Oh, and then he goes and drops all that junk. Oh my god. We are not allowed to mess up any placement today, guys. Otherwise, we lose the game. That's the sad realization that I've come to. Stevens are going to make it uh, make so much work on the musky. I think that might have been an overcommittal by me. I'm not going to lie. Potential. Jeez. We drop poison. Oh, jeez. This is not okay. It's really not okay. Bats are coming in. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's game. I lose. I literally lost, man. Oh, feels bad. He's going to go in for a poison or a giant. Yeah. All right. Um, we're going to have to go in for a high goblin hut. He's just going to go in for poison, though, and that's going to be good game. Good game. Well played. I can't believe he just had so many poison targets in this game. I, I almost had it. I was so close, but I, I don't think I had really the best momentum at the start. As a result, he won. Good game, well played. Thumbs up. Guys, we hit 700k though. Let's get some hype in the chat despite losing that. Nine in a row is pretty solid. Nine in a row is pretty solid. And we're about to hit 700k, so please get some hype in the chat for it. All right. You ready? Are your bodies prepared? Hype for losing, I know. For the first time in the in history of Clash Royale, we're hyped for losing. Here we go. Get in the Goblin Gang. Get in the arrow. So we're already past 700k. Already past it. Get in some Teslas. Tickle my Tesla. Cannons. Get in Spear Goblins. Oh, I, I remember. I have bad memories of getting painted onto a Spear Goblin. Royal Jesus. Our Jesus. And then we're also getting some Hunters. So we got something nice out of this chest, actually. And we're going to go look at our profile for the first time. Are you guys ready for this? 700k. Oh, that is disgusting. How many hours is that? Oh, I, I don't want to think. <laughs> guys, let's think about this for a second, though. 700k on Valentine's Day. What's the irony of that? <laughs> oh, no. Let's get it. 700k hype in the chat. Please, right here, right now. Get it. 0-2 to 9-3, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I think so. You know, if we actually start off the challenge, like, 
Nine and one, I feel like we would have had it. We focused up towards then. We definitely focused up. Oh my God. <laughs> so guys, if you had to pick, if you had to pick, which one? One or two? This is what our, this is what our Valentine's Day has come down to. Everyone in the chat, which sir is your Valentine? <laughs> Give some hearts in the chat to Liam for creating this masterpiece. It's going to go up on Instagram in a little bit. This made my day. This is a pretty awesome way to end it. <laughs> Tag the Tesla. Definitely Steven. Yo, Steven. Steven or Santa Claus? The alliteration with the S's. <laughs>